Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Taylorisms. Um, it's so good to see all of you all back here at my channel. I know it's been probably about a month since I made the first video welcoming all of you to the space. Um, but it's been crazy, you guys. Like, the YouTube life is not for the week, <laughs> especially when you have children. I've really been struggling um, just to get my whole thing set up. So like right now, you guys are here with me in my office. Um, but it takes a lot of work to record your life and to document the things that you're doing. Um, so I had like one video prepared last week for you guys, or maybe it was two weeks ago now. I've been struggling with like figuring out um, if I want to use my phone. Um, I have a pretty old iPhone from like 2018. <laughs> Normally I get new iPhones, but I'm trying to live like a more like modest and moderate life, so to speak. I guess mo when I say modest, I'm always modest, but I mean modest as far as like finances. Like I don't want to just buy the newest and latest and greatest just to buy the newest and latest and greatest. I had recorded a video for you guys two weeks ago. For whatever reason, it wouldn't download from my camera. Um, so I've been trying to figure out, my mom had gifted me like a really nice Canon camera which I'm actually recording this video right now on, and uh, it's a fantastic camera. At the same time, I was really struggling to like connect my phone um, to the camera so that I could download videos, and every time I tried to download videos, it would say I didn't have enough space on my phone. So this past week, you guys, I've been spending time downloading all of my pictures, which by the way, I had over 20, wait, yeah, I had over 10,000, wait, that's not right. I had over 12,000 pictures on my phone, plus an additional 10,000 pictures on my external hard drive. So I have a lot of work ahead as far as organizing all of those pictures. Um, but it's been a week, so I'm so happy to see you guys. And I mean, I guess I'm not seeing you guys, you're seeing me, but I'm really, really excited that it's finally working. I'm finally recording this video and you get to see me in my office. So I guess I'll just talk to you guys and give you a quick recap on some things that have just kind of been on my heart lately. So this week I've seen it twice um, in two different places and I usually believe like the first time you see something, okay, you're probably just meant to see it and it might just be a tiny nugget. Um, but the second time you see it, I think it's truly God trying to tell you that it's like time to take action. Earlier this week, a friend shared how, you know, we are supposed to be generous with the, the things that we have. So whether it's um, maybe God has blessed you with money or the gift of time. Maybe you've retired and you have nothing but time on your hands. And so um, that's a blessing. <laughs> Trust me, I feel like it's a blessing because with kids, you feel like you never have enough time. I think I'm realizing that through this post that I saw, like we all have something. Like, so I know COVID has definitely made it feel like we're lacking and it gets so easy um, to be caught up in the idea that you're missing something or you don't have enough. Um, you don't have enough resources. I think when we put things in perspective, we all have something. The first time I saw the post, I thought to myself like, huh, a lot of times we think so much about like what we don't have that we don't realize that God has given us resources. And if you don't believe in God, that's fine. You can say whatever works for you, but like we all have something to give. Maybe you don't have money right now, but you have the gift of gab like me. So you're just online, you're talking to people, you're encouraging them. Um, you're sharing your story. I saw one friend post about like we should be using our gifts and then I saw another friend share the same thing like you know and then my mom I had worked with her on a video that she worked on. Um, go check out Out of My Shell um, another great YouTube channel out there and she talked she did this video on like work whatever God gave you like work whatever you got. A lot of times when things are hard we get caught up in what's so hard that we lose sight of the gifts we have and so we stop using them. I just wanted to share that because it was something that was on my heart. Um, but other than that, it's been a good week. Jonathan like surprised me with some books because I've been having a kind of hard week at work. Like as much as I do love what I'm doing. Anyway, so John had surprised me earlier this week. Um, I have it over here. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. 
So he had surprised me with this book. It's called Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. So I had actually read her other book, uh, The Hate You Give, a couple weeks back. Loved the book. Go get it. Um, and so he surprised me with this. And the funny thing was, he didn't even know that I was having a hard week. There are surprises right around the corner. Like you don't have, a, have to have a spouse to be surprised at life. Like sometimes you could be having a bad day and then a stranger lets you cut in front of them at line, in the line. And I know that that sounds really silly and small, but like for me, I'm the person who prays for a parking spot. Okay. Because he knows this month I'm focusing on reading black history type books. Um, or prominent figures. Oh, and he also got me the book. Um, it's called the, I believe it's called the story of the color purple. I'll link the book in the comments. It is so good. You guys, it goes to the life of the woman who created the, the, the book and the movie, the color purple. Very well done. I'll give you guys a book review on it soon. And maybe I'll do a book review on the hate you give too. Cause that was a really good one. But anyway, so this is, um, poems on various subjects, religious and moral. And it's by Phyllis Wheatley. Do you guys know who Phyllis Wheatley is? I didn't until he told me about her. So there's like all types of poems. And honestly, I'm so excited to dive into this one because um, I do like poetry. I know we're already in February, so I'm sorry. This video would have been posted weeks ago and you would have already bought the planner. But here's the planner I'm using for 2021. It's called the Busy Bee Planner. Hopefully you can see that, Busy Bee. Um, and it's by Molly and Rex, but I love this planner. So I guess I'll end with that. Thank you again for stopping by the Taylorisms. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel. And I can't wait to see what we accomplish together. Make sure you comment below with the books that you're reading right now. I'd love to know what you're reading. I have a goal this year to read 24 books. So maybe one of your books and your book recommendations will be on my list. Again, don't forget to subscribe like, and comment. I can't wait to hear from you. Have a great week. Bye.